okay, if the velocity of money is 5, the amount of money in circulation is $600 million, prices are 150 and real GDP is $20 million, according to the strict quantity theory of money, if the money supply decreased to $300 million, which of the following would hold true? Well, let's go ahead and write out what the quantity theory of money exchange is. It says that the stock of money M times the velocity of money V must be equal to P, the price level, times Q, the real GDP. And we have figures for each of these variables. M, the money supply, is 600. V, the velocity of money, is 5. P, the price level, is 150. And Q, real GDP, is 20. And we can see that this equation is indeed holding true. 600 times 5 is 3,000. 150 times 20 is 3,000. But what we are being asked is what will happen if the money stock were to drop from 600 to 300. Now it's very tempting to look at A as being a right answer because if the velocity of money rises to 10, that makes this 3,000 and this side is still 3,000 and everything's hunky-dory. But remember, the quantity theory of money uh, uh, stipulates that the velocity of money is fairly stable and constant. So that won't hold true. But B actually looks like a tempting possibility because if indeed the velocity of money holds constant at 5 and we still have a real GDP of 20 because the quantity theory of money argues that it will affect nominal GDP but not real GDP then something has to give and that something would be a reduction in the price level of falling to the 75 level but let's look at the other answers to see why they're not right C says real GDP would decrease to 10 million the reason why we can safely eliminate that is that strict quantity theory of money believes that the, the changes in the money supply don't have any impact on real GDP and of course D isn't correct because it says it's unclear what would happen to GDP prices and the money velocity and we've just established that it is very clear that prices would actually fall to 75.